श्री घनश्याम महाराज जय सुप्रीम माटी और बिलौट पीवड़ा घनश्याम महाराज पात में कठो लिब्रेशन पूज्य गुरु जी पूज्य भगत जी एंड ऑफ डेवटीज जय स्वामीनारायण सदगुरु निस्कुरान स्वामी रिटर्न मैनी इंसिडेंट इन भक्त चिंताम ने विच डिस्क्राइब द ग्लोरी एंड ग्रेटनेस ऑफ भगवान स्वामीनारायण इवन दो मैन इंसिडेंट हैपन इन लाइफ ऑफ ड्यूटीज बट स्टिल ऑल दोज इंसिडेंट डिस्क्राइब द ग्लोरी ऑफ भगवान स्वामीनारायण एज लास्ट संडे वी हैव डिस्कस मैन इंसिडेंट हैपन in one of female devotee's life and how bhagwan swami narayan gave her power of going into samadhi without any kind of too much effort now today in 144 chapter sadguru niskuran swami describe the other incident happen in the same vadodara city वड़ी वडोदरा सहेरनी कहूँ वर्णवी एक वात पूरा पर चा जन ने सहु जाने एम साक्षात निस्कुरान स्वामी से इन द सेम सिटी ऑफ वडोदरा देर वर मेनी सच इंसिडेंट हैपन एंड दोज इंसिडेंट इवन recognized and even <clears throat> became very famous in all of the people once there was a devotee by the name of ramchandra he was a brahmin as he became a devotee of bhagwan swami narayan so by doing katha and by doing and describing Uh, Bhagwan Swami Narayan's glory and greatness. He spread this satsang in all his family. So his wife, his daughter, all became satsangi. And this Ramchandra had one habit to remember Bhagwan for all the day, meaning he remember Bhagwan Swami Narayan. while eating while walking drinking even when he go to sleep he also remembers bhagwan swami narayan's divine form once upon a day as because of his middle class family position and as he had no much more money to afford to go to have darshan of bhagwan from vadodara to ghatda and many days passed without darshan of bhagwan swami narayan so once he was lamenting in a separation of bhagwan swami narayan's divine darshan and at night time when he went to go to sleep but at the time he was praying to maharaj oh maharaj many days passed without your darshan so please grace upon me have mercy and please grant me your dar- your darshan in this way while crying he was praying again and again to bhagwan for darshan now in this way he fell asleep but what happened in the night at night as his door all doors were closed and that's why bhagwan came to his home but door were closed so bhagwan knocked the door because at that time 
before 200 years there is no rings uh, or there is no bell system and that's why there is absence of doorbell so bhagwan himself knocked the door and as ramchandra listen the voice of knocking somebody knocking and somebody shouting ramchandra open the door ramchandra open the door then ramchandra wake up as he listen a divine voice he remember this is the same voice of bhagwan swami narayan so he became very happy and opened the door as he opened the door bhagwan swami narayan himself in his divine form he enter the house at night in ramchandra's house bhagwan swami narayan himself came with divine form then ramchandra welcome maharaj and without invitation or without any kind of preparation ramchandra had nothing to welcome to bhagwan but he had only one thing and that is his devotion towards bhagwan so he welcome maharaj in his house and he offer a particular seat for maharaj maharaj sat on seat and ramchandra did done what and everything and he also sat near bhagwan's feet and ramchandra with his full folding hands he said maharaj you are really you are really really the most compassionate bhagwan in the world there is no any other bhagwan like you because as i have prayed today and you came in darshan at the same time in this way as bhagwan was sitting in ramchandra's house and ramchandra was also sitting near bhagwan's charnarvin and as this conversation going on at the same time after some time as ramchandra asked something to bhagwan and bhagwan gave reply to ramchandra as well as bhagwan swami and himself says many thing to ramchandra after that ramchandra remember as guest come to my home i definitely offer him a water or some food and bhagwan swami and himself come to my home and why i am not even asking him for food or water then ramchandra asked maharaj maharaj please sit for quite some time i go inside kitchen and come with some food to you but bhagwan said no ramchandra this is not a time for eating i am specially come here only for giving you darshan so call all other family members so all have darshan and after having darshan i will be disappear from your house then according to bhagwan swami narayan's command ramchandra went inside his another room and he call out his wife his daughter everybody and as all family member gather in one uh, in front of bhagwan swami narayan and all have a darshan of bhagwan after giving darshan after some time bhagwan swami narayan disappear from ramchandra's home in the morning ramchandra described this towards the another devotees and all knew that bhagwan swami narayan can do everything meaning even though he is not present here in vadodara still he can give darshan to his devotees in this way ramchandra and his family members get got darshan of bhagwan swami narayan in bhagwan's divine form now the next incident this another incident also happened to ramchandra said once ramchandra and all his family members were sleeping in his home at the time anyhow in one of his room there was some small fire but that was 
time of night so everybody was sleeping and nobody knew about this fire if nobody wake up and if nobody knew about this fire and no no one can no one tried to stop this fire then his all house caught in a fire and all became died so bhagwan swami that himself first he bhagwan himself came uh, came there divinely and he wake up ramchandra's daughter but as she took some more time in and that's why bhagwan went to amrut bai she was a wife of ramchandra and bhagwan wake up her and gave her message that in your house there was fire then amrut bai she went to ramchandra and wake up him <coughs> when ramchandra wake up and he search where is the fire and he find found out the fire was no n- not outside the house but al- uh, but already inside the home and that's after that Ra- ramchandra uh, ramchandra he had tried too much for stopping the fire and finally when fire stopped he prayed to bhagwan he prayed to maharaj maharaj you are very compassionate bhagwan because if today you did not wake up then how can we live tomorrow we cannot see tomorrow's morning we all also died in this fire in this way many times ramchandra wait got darshan as well as some divine such kind of incident from bhagwan swami narayan's divine mercy and even today who one can have trust who has the same devotion towards bhagwan swami narayan everybody got some kind of direct or indirect contact of bhagwan and bhagwan protect all those devotees who have trust in his form one who has nishta or one who has from faith in the form of bhagwan then bhagwan definitely without any kind of delay bhagwan sure give him a way so that he can be himself protected from all kinds of dangers this is the glory and greatness of bhagwan swami narayan bhagwan swami narayan even though he was not present in his human form or in his form which is present in this earth before 200 years but still he is forever present everywhere and that's why he can protect his devotees from all kinds of dangers this is what the incident happened in life of ramchandra said many other incident also described in the same chapter of bhakta chintamani we will continue it in later next sunday sri ganshyam maharaj ni jay
प्रभुदव मूर्ति विनोदकारी पलपन विसरे नहीं जो विसारी जुगल चरण सोल चिन्ह जेह नजर समीपे रहो अमारिये ह नजर समीपे रहो अमारिये ह गणश्याम महाराज नीजे हरि कृष्ण महाराज नीजे स्वामी नारायण भगवान नीजे सुप्रीम ऑल माइटी आर बिलोवेड गणश्याम महाराज the path maker to our liberation our pujapad guruji puja santo bhagat all of you devotees jai swami narayan <clears throat> when bhagwan swami narayan comes on this earth there are four aspects that he por- portrays to everyone that every can everyone can see number 1 his supremacy that he is the supreme lord of lords he showed this to parvat bhai of the village agatrai while he was plowing his field number 2 he is the all doer he showed this to many many of his paramhansas and devotees number 3 that he is ever manifest pragat on this earth after leaving for akshardham he gave darshan to many many paramhansas proving that he is still around this earth and number 4 he's divine maharaj's divine personality is something that we want to focus on today something that is very very unique because the only this is the only characteristic that makes bhagwan bhagwan and humans humans or else when bhagwan comes on this earth he has two feet two arms two eyes a nose and by the ordinary person's eye he can be seen as a human but in reality he's not human he's not an alien he's bhagwan there is this one child that asked puja guruji that who is bhagwan guruji said bhagwan is bhagwan what kind of identification can i describe him with there's nothing that can compare bhagwan to him except bhagwan is bhagwan god is god in the same exact manner just how bhagwan swami and when he came on this earth and displayed countless divine incidents meaning charitras actions to his paramanso saints and his devotees and non devotees bhagwan swami narayan's santos his paramanso were not the less you can say why because when bhagwan was in his childhood as gansham he put birds into trance or samadhi proving his divine nature when he was in his teenagehood while he was traveling across mother india in the most dangerous terrains where he went all the way up to the himalayan ranges without or wearing very limited clothing he performed a penance there for a long time proving that no other avatar has done such kind of feat that he is divine and last but not least in his adulthood kings those who were so wealthy that they could buy out any village they would they wanted by coming to the mere feet of maharaj they became his disciple his saints this was his you can say divine personality just like that bhagwan swami narayan's sadhus his paramhansas were divine and as of right now bhagwan still sends his santos 
who are divine to this earth and those santos perform such kind of feats and many many are able to see that not a regular human is able to perform this kind of feat but let's first take and travel back in time in the era of Maharaj how his Paramahansos his Santos displayed such a divine nature proving that one will understand that Bhagwan has to be supreme Bhagwan has to be the greatest of all gods due to his disciples powers because the only way one can measure how great a person is or even in the sastras it's said that the only way a person can measure how great a guru is is by looking at his disciple in the same way if we understand the glory of Bhagwan's Paramahansa, his san santos, non santos in that time, then we would be easily able to understand how great Bhagwan was. So I want to read a couple of charitras and tell you and show you that Bhagwan's sa sadhus were not any less than Bhagwan himself. By the grace of Bhagwan, we can say. Hamir Kachar was the chief of Botaj. Botaj is a village in Gujarat, India and one day he had his house he had his household one day he and his household were mourning the death of his favorite horse meaning his horse had died for the Durbars death of a horse is like the death of a son at that time Vyapkanan Swami a sadhu of Bhagwan Swaminar the very first initiated sadhu of Bhagwan Swaminar and the very first sadhu who was given the Mahamantra Swami Narayan to chant, Vyapkanan Swami, came there to their home. He came to know that the entire family was grieving the death of their horse. Vyapkanan Swami felt pity for Hamir Kachar and others. So Swami came near the dead horse. He looked around for a while and saw a mosquito flying around. He chanted the sacred name of Swaminarayan, sparkled a little water on the horse, and transferred the mosquito's soul into the horse. Instantly the horse got up. Everyone in the Durbar was amazed by the miracle of Vyapkanan Swami had performed. Hamrikachar fell at, fell at Swami's feet and praised him generously. From this charitra, very small, but sometimes it's out of our imagination that how could a saint transfer a mosquito's soul into a horse, horse's body? Well, it's something that's also out of my comprehension, but it's here in the Sastras, the scriptures. This charitra is true, but looking at how great Bhagwan Santos are. We must look right now, even right now in present time, our Puja Guruji is present here on this earth at the age of 51, 58, sorry about that, but he has performed so many different, different, you can say divine, divine charitras that by merely hearing them, one would also think that is it really possible? But I remember one charitra that Puja Santo had told me. This was maybe about 10 to 12 years ago in the village of Loya, where Puja Guruji just had obtained that land. It was given to him. And pretty much it's very remote. The village Loya is very remote and it doesn't have any kind of facilities, uh, very little electricity, and it's pretty much. In the middle of nowhere so there they're supposed to make a road to go to the village because many many travelers Loya is a Prasadinustan meaning it's very uh, holy Bhagwan has lived there so many many uh, Swaminarayan followers go to that village for Darshan but they have trouble because of the roads are very poor 
uh, and due to that cars become uh, their tires become flat and it's very difficult so after obtaining the land Pujaguruji's first uh, you can say mission was to build a, a good road so that you know many many uh, devotees can come back and forth for darshan of uh, the prasadi nustan the village so while Guruji was planning for this road to be built in that area where that road was going to be built there was much much grass that was needed to be pretty much cut down and removed from its roots because it was in the way of the path of the road and it was much labor due to the mass amount of grass so Puja Guruji and another saint was besides him, beside him his disciple he was there as well also planning with Puja Guruji Puja Guruji looked towards that saint and told him to draw a line and Puja Guruji said in the snap of a finger fire will be created and all this grass that you see will be lit on fire not by anyone just lit on fire that's what Guruji said so you draw a line meaning Guruji was talking to that saint draw a line so that at that line point the fire will stop Puja Guruji told this Swami this so that Swami was like of course Guruji uh, it's best if you drew the, draw the line Puja Guruji insisted no you draw the line and the, f the fire will stop exactly in that area so that Swami took a stick and drew a line where the grass was ending because obviously all the grass needed to be burned in order for that road to be built on top of it so Puja Guruji with his sankalp or his thought started the fire slowly 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 all that grass was burned and when that line when the fire reached the line it stopped it seemed like someone was there with a fire extinguisher just ready to blow it out but what does this prove that Puja Guruji can create fire and stop it at his will sure that's what an ordinary person can think and view but in reality Puja Guruji's thought his sankal not only that but think about it can a human perform such kind of you can say display such kind of powers your probably mind is thinking no obviously Puja Guruji is not some kind of magician where he can create fire and take things out of his hand and things like that there are many many uh, you can say fake magicians out there uh, even in India I don't know so much so fake but they uh, display kum kum from their hands um, and also uh, coins start coming out from their hands a lot of weird things that I've heard uh, which I do not believe happen uh, and they believe themselves to be magicians um, but that's just to prove the world that how great they are or you know uh, to make money some kind of living but Puja Guruji his simple nature was just displaying Maharaj's you can say feet Maharaj was inside of him doing this Charitra proving that Puja Guruji is also divine not only that but there's a charitra of Puja Guruji where he was very very uh, ill and the day before uh, he, he had a parain meaning a, a katha for seven days and the day before uh, he wanted to take a uh, nas uh, how do you say that like uh, warm warm water is or water is boiled uh, and pretty much given to Puja Guruji and he inhales that water through his nostrils to uh, pretty much uh, have his whole uh, system become you can say clean clear so a, a saint was uh, bringing that water to him and since it was so hot by accident the tapili meaning the pot that had the water 
spilled on Guruji's right thigh. Uh, Guruji was burned instantly in his thigh region and had to get uh, plastic surgery in the future. But all that agony, all that pain, he ignored and still performed a seven-day Bharain. Puja Guruji could not even bend his whole leg. So he performed the Bharain with his leg pretty much straight. He did not fold his leg, his right leg. That's how much pain there was. But any kind of human, just think about it. If they had to go through this pain, would they be able to even speak? Or would they even be able to do any kind of action except stay in the hospital our puja guruji for seven days performed katha for the sake and happiness of others and afterwards he got plastic surgery proving that a regular human cannot do this task just like that Puja, the Paramhansos in Bhagwan's time also displayed many, many different kinds of powers like that. I want to read another incident where Shriji Maharaj was in Garpur. The Paramhansos were seated before him. Maharaj asked, O oh Paramhansos, today I wish you all to say what is so unique about yourselves. So Maharaj was like, you know, say good things about yourself. The Paramansas knew that it was not right to praise themselves, but because of Maharaj's command, they repri- replied frankly. Maharaj was showing others that his Paramansas were also great, but obviously only if they said it themselves, more would believe than someone else said it. So Muktan Swami said, Maharaj, no matter how angry a person may be, but when he comes before me, he will calm down instantly. This is due to your grace. Meaning, Muktan Swami Saduta, his saintliness was such that no matter what kind of person came towards him, they would not be able to display any kind of nature, bad nature, evil nature, and their nature would become completely nullified or completely calm. I'm reminded of our Puja Dada Guruji. Uh, Puja Guruji praises Puja Dada Guruji for his such nature, his sadhuta like nature, where many many people in in uh, when Puja Guruji was or Dada Guru was month in Mumbai and in Surat, many many uh, people would come angry to him due to some kind of miscommunication or some kind of problem. But when they had the darshan of Dada Guruji, just for that glimpse, they would become completely calm. And they would forget that they were even angry. This was due to Puja Dada Guru's sadhuta. As you can see right now, even our Puja Guruji, many, many people have many, many thoughts about Puja Guruji. But even staying in Vartal as a, at a very high post, Puja Guruji has to hear many, many uh, different kind of comments. But whenever a person encounters Guruji they cannot say anything negative because due to Puja Maharaj staying in Guruji Guruji completely nullifies the person's swabhav or nature this was Muktanand Swami's nature Brahmanand Swami replied due to your blessings when I write a bhajan not a single word is repeated in it in addition, I don't have to search for words when I'm writing, and the bhajan would not would be so impressive and vivid that another poet cannot write like me. Remember, these santos are saying these kinds of things about themselves because of the agna of Maharaj. Nityanand Swami explained, by your grace, all the pandits, meaning all the you can say learned uh, masters of scriptures scholars of India cannot defeat me in a scriptural debate and lastly Maharaj looked at Gopanand Swami and he replied without your doership 
and not even a single leaf can move in the infinite universes but through your grace I can accomplish whatever I wish meaning Bhagwan's Paramahansas were very very unique and they were just beyond this world yet Bhagwan gave them such kinds of divine natures personalities powers to help others walk on the path of God as well so whenever we see a sadhu of Bhagwan Swami Narayan here in present time obviously like our Puja Guruji or Puja Santo no matter what they do our scope our vision should only be that they are divine and they are not like humans sure they do have a human body but when we want to elevate in the spiritual state we must learn to look beyond such human characteristics like oh this Swami eats this many times or this Swami sleeps this much or this Swami does this and that no if we tend to look at good qualities then we can understand that Bhagwan is divine through his Paramahansas. Saying this, my humble Jai Swaminarayan.